I'm Alex Clark from Denison Yachting, and today I'm going to take you through Safe Passage, the Hatteras 77 Enclosed Bridge Sportfish. We're going to start today's walkthrough here in the cockpit. And the first thing you're going to notice is how large it is. It's actually 195 square feet. Nice tuna door here. Fish boxes, both refrigerated. The one on the port side actually has an Eskimo uh, ice chipper. Nice centerline sport fishing chair. In the mezzanine, you have additional freezer space. With the push of a button, you enter the salon, and immediately you've got your day head to port. I love this feature because when you're out there and you're fishing all day, you can easily freshen up before entering into the actual salon itself. The salon combines the lounge, galley, and dinette into one large open space. You've got easy access up to the sky lounge here. 65 inch plasma TV, two refrigerator drawers, uh, sitting area here with a love seat, settee. The highlight of the salon will be this open galley. Safe Passage has a range up to 2,000 nautical miles if you pull her back to an economical speed. In order to properly provision for a long passage like that, you're going to need extra refrigerator and freezer space. Here you have six sub-zero refrigerator and freezer drawers. You have a KitchenAid stovetop, a Whirlpool convection oven, sink, plenty of storage space, and to me, a great gathering place when entertaining. Opposite of the galley, you've got your two bar stools, uh, dinette that seats six. Obviously, you see that the granite continues, and you've got some of these really nice uh, leather accents in the sitting area itself. Moving forward of the salon, you've got what we call the dog house here, which is the heart of your navigation and electronics package on board, additional storage to starboard, and then the companionway continues into the guest accommodations. You have a screen similar to those found on the bridge deck that allow you to monitor all the systems on board. Continuing forward, you have a single cabin to starboard, VIP ensuite to port, and then two identical single cabins that share an uh, ensuite bath in the middle. The forward cabins allow me to really highlight the headroom that you're going to find throughout the entire guest accommodations. And to me, it also focuses on the fact that this is really a family-oriented layout. Moving from the bow, we're going to head back aft to the full beam master cabin. Full beam master cabin, excellent headroom. A lot of natural light with four large portholes. To starboard, you're gonna have your ensuite. And to me, one of my favorite features on board, especially if you're an owner operator, is direct access to the engine room. The highlight of the engine room are twin MTU 16V2000 series engines with 2,400 horsepower each. I give her a top speed of about 27 and a half knots, which is what we saw today when underway. Even with such large engines, you're gonna notice that you've got easy access all the way around the engines, great for servicing other major machinery, such as the twin 27KW Onan generators. We made our way back into the main salon. We're now gonna head up into the Sky Lounge. Nice curved staircase for easy access. Here we are in the enclosed bridge, also known as the Sky Lounge. From an entertaining perspective, you almost have a smaller second salon area. We've got an L-shaped settee here, desk area great for an owner or a captain, two refrigerator drawers, and a TV on a swivel. Continuing forward, first thing you're going to notice, Platinum Series Pompanet captain's chair that swivels so you can be part of the entertaining. And we've got seven flat screen monitors. You've got your bow thruster, stern thruster. Four helm stations on board. You got your primary here. You got one to port and to starboard on the upper deck, one in the cockpit. You've 
you've got dual helm stations here. You've got your simple controls off to port. In the starboard, you basically have your primary controls. You've got a bow thruster, stern thruster, everything you need for fishing. One of my favorite spots on the boat. I want to point out that Safe Passage has two of the largest outriggers I've seen on a sport fish this size. You have two RUP 4850 hydraulically operated outriggers, and on the bow, you have your tender and then two life rafts. On behalf of Denison Yachting, I want to thank you for joining us on board Safe Passage, the Hatteras 77 in Closebridge. If you have any questions or want to arrange a private showing on board, feel free to contact us at any time. Thank you.